There's nothing more akin to fucking hunting without killing people than what we do. Day in, day out, we're driving around here, we're driving there, checking out cafes, you're shooting pictures that are people going about their lives, these VIPs, these celebrities. Yeah, we're looking for a pretty picture, so swimsuits, beaches, that sort of thing. So I'm gonna go over there for a little bit of a recce up on the, on the height. The idea is not to be arseholes about it. We're not trying to interfere with them. Look, we're gonna shoot pictures we can do at long lens. Detected, sprung. We had the usual stylist or director of photography or PR, or whoever it is, come up and ask us what we're taking photos of. It's kind of self-evident. The question always gets asked, she has to do a job. They're gonna have a little committee meeting and work out what are they gonna do about it now. It's Jessica Gomes on the left and uh, Jacinda Campbell on the right. What you've got here is two models with quite large profiles in Australia working together. First time I exercised investigative uh, research or something like that was when I was when I was younger, you know, because I was adopted at birth. So you know, you've always got adoptees typically have this want to understand, you know, where did they come from? Who are my parents? Why did they leave me? How come I was adopted? How come my parents didn't love me? What's that all about? And that quest for information and the tr quest for that truth has been so far, something that's always been a driving factor for me. Yeah, I've just spotted Lara Bingle. Watch this. Hey guys. Hey Josh, how you going, man? Sorry guys, Lara just won. I will, just a couple of frames and I can move on. No worries, okay, we'll do. And all we have is a hand across the face. She's having dinner, she thinks this is her private time, she doesn't want to be bothered. You know, essential value of what's going on there. She's having a family dinner, it's with her brother and she's uh, looking for a little bit of space. So I think we give it to her. You know, I want to be operating at the highest level. I want to be at the top of it. I want to be, you know, whether it's this or anything else. You know, I want the exclusives. I want to have the best material. I want to be the most uh, productive. Uh, I want to be the most consistent in what I do and what I supply. Uh, it probably it cost me a lot in terms of my relationship with my son. Um, and that, that's, a, that, that's a real tough one for me. You know, he, uh, he's just turned 18 uh, in April. And uh, for the most part of his life, I uh, haven't really been there. It's been a, a difficult relationship. And uh, at this point in time, he doesn't want to have anything to do with me. There's been some um, uh, some damage, you know. All right, position two. So they're going to come up there, chuck a right. They're going to walk back down the street. Actually, they could cross and go to the market. Yeah, they're going to cross over there. If you don't want some exposure, if you don't want to be photographed by paps that are coming through here, down through Willamaloo, down through Rushcutters Bay into Double Bay, then move out of the area to somewhere where there's not paps continually circuiting through. Hey Michelle, how you doing? Steve. Hi. Hey mate, how are you going? Hello, yeah, I'm not. Just give us a sec. I'll tell you what, they're just students from a film school. Uh, and we're actually, it's actually larger than around. you guys. It's just actually. Yeah, but you know what? It's just not based on Pabs. Well, Steve, understand. can I have a word but for you a sec? Know what? No, no, no more. There's, well, enough words have been shared. Not in the mood today. I remember as a kid, but there was always situations in my life, like my best, one of my best friends lived two doors down from me. Year six, all of a sudden he disappeared. He's packed up one day and moved and come back from my mum's place. Chris is gone. And it, I was kind of really devastated and really just, uh, I'm really upset. And I wanted to find him. For me, it was really just finding them to have an answer for a question. It's always there. It's always about you know, having nice pictures, but it's also about the story element. And that's what really matters in taking great photos. Brad and Angelina, there's a lot of money in having any pictures of her. They were taking security seriously. Within a matter of seconds, I had 15, 20 local security and international security. And I got pepper sprayed or maced as I approached the property. Ended up getting pictures, but it was a case that I paid for getting them. For me, that's, that's what it's all about. That's the part I love. That's pep life.